Obedience gives you a lot of self-confidence, uh, whether you're young or old or big or small, and it's an accomplishment you get to a friendship and a bond you get with your dog. I love the training conversation. I think it's a very intimate conversation, doing obedience with your dog. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for 35 years, and it's just it's nice to see the competition, old friends, and you know, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. I, I mean, this, this dog thinks I walk on water. He really does. So I go in the ring, nothing bothers him. It, his, his mind is 100% on me. That's what you got to have. And when we go to school, he gets to see his friends. He's got a girlfriend, Karma, that he just adores. And they just they just enjoy playing and doing things together and, and yeah, I mean when we get to school he's he's a happy camper. He enjoys it. They get cookies, my dogs, so that's why they like it. <laughs> Piper is my first high rise dog and she is just an awesome dog. She gives me 120% every time. So I can't complain. It's been a really wonderful honor to be able to come and do this. Um, I've only ever done it once before and it was several years ago. So this was this was kind of exciting to be able to have a chance to bring him here. So I mean I'm very excited to be here and I'm proud to be here with him because he is out of the 2,000 dogs here, he is the only male. Look up a local obedience club, go in for beginner classes, puppy classes, get with your dog, learn that your dog is willing to do anything you want to, and get with a good trainer and just train and have a great time with your dog. Remember, it's all about fun. There's, th there's three P's in training, praise, practice, and patience so you have to have all that and, and it's not hard to have because the dogs you can see little light bulbs go off and it's just so rewarding to watch that light bulb go off when that dog does what you're asking them to do if you have a joy of working with your dog and are willing to take the time to work with them it's a great sport it's a good time with your dog you get you know you just get like a, a build a sense of a team the two of you working together that I just really enjoyed it. I've done it for 30 years. Obedience gives you a lot of self-confidence, uh, whether you're young or old or big or small, and it's an accomplishment you get to a friendship and a bond you get with your dog. I love the training conversation. I think it's a very intimate conversation, doing obedience with your dog. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for 35 years, and it's just, it's nice to see the competition, old friends, and. Yeah, no, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. I, I mean, this, this dog thinks I walk on water. He really does. So I go in the ring, nothing bothers him. It, his, his mind is 100% on me. That's what you got to have. And when we go to school, he gets to see his friends. He's got a girlfriend, Karma, that he just adores. And they just they just enjoy playing and doing things together. And, and yeah, I mean, when we get to school, he's, he's a happy camper. 
He enjoys it. They get cookies, my dogs, is, that's why they like it. <laughs> Piper is my first high-rise dog, and she is just an awesome dog. She gives me 120% every time, so I can't complain. It's been a really wonderful honor to be able to come and do this. Um, I've only ever done it once before, and it was several years ago. So this was this was kind of exciting to be able to have a chance to bring him here. So I mean, I'm very excited to be here, and I'm proud to be here with him because he is, out of the 2,000 dogs here, he is the only Malamute. Look up a local obedience club, go in for beginner classes, puppy classes, get with your dog, learn that your dog is willing to do anything you want to, and get with a good trainer and just train and have a great time with your dog. Remember, it's all about fun. There's, there's three P's in training, praise, practice, and patience. <laughs> so you have to have all that, and, and it's not hard to have, because the dogs, you can see little light bulbs go off, and it's just so rewarding to watch that light bulb go off when that dog does what you're asking them to do. If you have a joy of working with your dog and are willing to take the time to work with them, it's a great sport. It's a good time with your dog. You, get, you know, you just get like a, a build a sense of a team, the two of you working together, that I've just really enjoyed it. I've done it for 30 years. Did you hear me, Ken? Yes, thank you. I nodded, I'm sorry. Good morning. Welcome to the 2018 American Kennel Club National Obedience Championship event, coming to you live from the Royal Canaan Ring, Yukonuba, at Roberts Center in Wilmington, Ohio. This is day two of this competition. The AKC National Obedience Championship event, often referred to as the NOC or NOC, is the most prestigious obedience event of the year. This event is by invitation only, meaning the teams you will see have earned an invitation based on champion points earned throughout the preceding year. It's an honor to get an invitation and an absolute thrill to get to come and compete. The teams you will see in the ring this morning are the top 50 teams from yesterday's competition. They competed in eight rings yesterday with three to four exercises in each ring. This morning, they will rotate again once through the eight rings, and there are approximately two exercises in each ring. Once the competition finishes from this morning's rotation, the top 20 teams will then move on to compete in four rings, being judged by two judges in each ring. We hope you enjoy today's competition we're looking forward to an exciting event. <laughs> Judging will begin at approximately 8.30. In ring three, we have Sharon Redmer, judging directed retrieve, glove number three, and the heel free and figure eight exercise. The total point value in that ring is 70 points. In ring four, 
Carol Met will be judging the broad jump and the moving stand and examination. That ring value is 50 points. In ring number three, dog and handler 205, Smarty, being handled by Bethan Beth Lane. Directed retreat to glove number three. Lovely turn and pick up. And the dog comes to front and waits until command or signal to finish. Very nice. And now for the healing. This is the figure eight portion of the healing exercise. Exercise finished, well executed. Our next team in ring number three, team 206, a border collie, Rain, being handled by Victory Hewlett. Set up for the directed retrieve exercise. Lovely pivot there. And a very nice pickup. Front. Wait until till the handler takes the glove. And then a finish into heel position. Nicely done. And now for the healing exercise.
very nice display of teamwork throughout the healing routine. And here is the figure eight. Very nice. The score on Dog and Handler two oh five was minus two. Our next team, 207 Border Collie Maverick, being handled by Mitzi Tenaglia. And here we have the directed retrieve exercise. The dogs are retrieving glove number three today. Very nice. And now for the healing exercise. Very pretty demonstration of healing. Very nice. Now on to the figure eight. And well done. Score on the previous team, 206, minus one. Next up in ring number three, team 211, a miniature schnauzer. Violet being handled by Christine Carter. Very nice little retrieve there. Well done.
Nice quick halt there. Quick sit. Very nice demonstration of teamwork here. Oops, a little boo-boo there. Nice recovery. Mm, lovely. Very nice demonstration of teamwork here. Excellent execution of the figure eight. The score on previous team, 207 minus one. Our next team in ring number three will be team 213. A Papillon trip being handled by Kathy Parker. And now for the directed retrieve. Very nice. Nice healing over here. Now for the figure eight. Very nice sense of teamwork here. Very nice working team. Excellent. Well done. Score for previous team 211 was minus four. Our next team coming into ring number three would be team 217, Shetland Sheepdog. Deacon being handled by correction.
Next team coming into team, ring number three will be 218, Shetland Sheepdog, Jester being handled by Karen Darling. Score on previous team 213 was minus two. And here we have the figure eight. Coming into ring number three now, team 217, Shetland Sheepdog, Deacon being handled by Charles Chimura. At this point in the competition, these dogs know the exercise. Now it's a matter of keeping ring nerves under control for the handler and the dog.
Score on previous team, 218 minus four. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 228, Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Derby being handled by Leanne Capozzi. The score on previous team, 217 minus one. The score on team 217, minus one. Our next team coming into ring number three will be 239, a Bichon Frise, Tate, being handled by Barbara Chafin. The score on previous team, 228 minus two and a half. And now to watch the Bichon do some healing.
Hmm. Very nice demonstration of teamwork. Hmm. Very cute little fast going there. And nice recovery after a distraction on that about turn. Very cute. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 241, Pomeranian Eddie being handled by Peggy McGrath. And now for the directed retrieve exercise. Mm, very cute little guy picking up that big old glove. Glove looks almost as big as a dog. Lovely, de de lovely delivery to a front and into a finish. Very cute. You can see no matter the size of these dogs, big and all small, they have lots of heart to perform, enjoy working with their handlers, When these exercises are taught as tricks and games, teaching a dog to learn that learning is fun lays the foundation for a very special relationship between person and dog and certainly makes for a better behaved family dog as well. Lovely demonstration of teamwork. Very nice healing. Good job. Well done. <sighs> Score on previous team 239 was minus two and a half. Coming into ring number three, next will be team 242, a Papillon Molly being handled by Nancy Muller.
Score on previous team, 2-4-1, minus one-half. Score on previous team, 241, minus one half. Our next team coming into ring number three, 243, an All-American dog, Sissy, being handled by Donna Hartwig. Score for previous team, 2-4-2, two, two, minus three and a half.
Our next team coming into ring number three, Team 105, a flat-coated retriever, Sonic, being handled by Adele Youngt. The score on previous dog, 243 minus 2. Our next team coming into ring number 3, Team 106, a Labrador Retriever. Hart being handled by Linda Brennan. When viewing this competition, keep in mind that these exhibitors got their start in the sport by taking the family dog to a local basic obedience training class to learn basic good dog manners, and then, as we say, got bit by the obedience bug. Through that basic training, a bond develops between dog and person, and a camaraderie with fellow dog trainers creates a common interest which grows into lifelong friendships in a wonderful hobby sport. A great way to learn about obedience competition is to visit a local obedience trial to watch people enjoy the sport at all levels of competition with their dogs. It really is awe-inspiring. Maybe, like the people you see performing here today, you too will think, I want to do that with my dog. And you can. It's how most of us get started in the sport. This is a lovely demonstration of teamwork, focused attention, these handlers make it look effortless and easy, mm, job well done, nice enthusiasm.
Nice job. Well done. The score on previous team, 105 minus three. Our next team coming into ring one, ring number three, 109, Golden Retriever, Vega, being handled by Joanne Buckhorn. Nice job on the directed retrieve exercise. And now to healing. Nice job. Heel work requires the handler to walk at a natural but brisk pace and the dog to remain on the handler's left side, the area of the dog's head to shoulder in line with the handler's left hip. Close enough, yet not interfering with the handler's freedom of motion. During a heel work routine, the team executes left turns, right turns, about turns, a fast back into a normal speed, a slow The score for pace. previous team, 106 minus one half. Next up in ring number three. Team 114, Rottweiler, Chase being handled by Jeremy Schuster. Back into a normal. And when the handler halts, or what you might think of as a stop, the dog is required to sit. And here's the directed retreat. Picking up the glove and returning it back to the handler. Sitting in front until the handler takes the glove. And then back into heel position. With a nice sit. Exercise finished, on to heel work. These 50 teams competing today are making a quick run through these eight rings. For the most part, they only have maybe perhaps about five minutes between rings and they're rushing off to the next ring.
the speed of this competition today really tests the handler's ability to communicate to their dog in such a way to keep the dog calm, happy, yet up and a willing worker. The score on previous team 109 minus three and a half. At this level of the competition, it really is about keeping your dog calm and focused on their task. They know the exercises, so it's a matter of just proper execution Our next team coming into ring number one, ring number one, three, team number 115, Doberman Pinscher, Lexus being handled by Carolyn Sorg. And here we are with the directed retrieve. The Doberman runs right out there, picks up the glove, and brings it back to its handler. You can see these dogs have other dogs working in adjacent rings and yet completely stay focused on their task at hand. The score for previous team, 114 minus three and a half. Next team coming into ring number three, team 117. A Labrador retriever, Ozzy, being handled by Christy Dyke.
Score for previous team, 115 minus two and a half. Nice teamwork taking place here on the figure eight. Nice job, well done. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 120, a Rottweiler. Siri being handled by Barbara Deering. Score for previous team, 117 minus one and a half. The next team coming into ring number three, team 121, German Shepherd Dog, Heka, being handled by Kristen Brooks-Jones.
score for previous team, 1-2-0, minus 3.5. Our next team coming into ring number three, team 125, German Shepherd Dog, Chloe, being handled by Barbara Jennings. To learn general information about AKC obedience, visit the AKC webpage at www.akc.org. Link into our events page to find local events in your area. Score for team, previous team 221, minus one and a half. We also have a page for clubs that you can search by state and city to find a local club in your area to reach out to learn about obedience training classes. If you have questions in general about AKC obedience, please write obedience at akc.org. The judging of these rings is running pretty quick, and dogs are basically coming from one ring into the next. So if you see a minor delay, that is what the cause is. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 129, All-American Dog, Lola, being handled by Katherine Harvey. <laughs> and 
again now setting up for the directed retrieve exercise. Very nice retreat there by Lola. Into a front and finish. And now on to heel work. So far, a lovely execution demonstration of teamwork. You can see the concentration and focus these dogs demonstrate. And it really shines through on the heel work. Achieving this level of teamwork in healing is much like you and the dog dancing together. Very nice job. Score on previous team, 125, minus two and a half. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 133, Golden Retriever, Dakota being handled by Nancy Peterson. Score for previous team, 129 minus one and a half.
Nice job, well done. Coming into ring number three now, Team 136, Golden Retriever, Bo D, being handled by Christy Thomas. Score on the previous team, 133, minus one and a half. Our next team in ring number three, team 137, a golden retriever. Beacon being handled by Kathy Razanovich Platt. Score for the previous team, 136 minus three. Hmm. Directed retreat, very nice. Glove retreat there. And into a finish. And now on to healing.
lovely demonstration of teamwork. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 138, Golden Retriever. Athena being handled by Francine Anderson. Score on previous team, 137 minus 1. And now to the figure eight. A nice demonstration of teamwork there. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 140, Golden Retriever, Hudson being handled by Douglas Jones. Here we are setting up for the directed retrieve exercise. Handlers are used to performing this exercise, typically with a jump on either side of them and setting up in the middle of the ring, using the jumps to help guide them into position. 
Here, there's simply a mark on the floor, which makes it a tad more challenging as a handler. The score for previous team, 138 minus 2. And now on to the heel work. Oops, little boo-boo there. Got back into heel position, but missed the halt cue. It's just some points off. And very nice recovery to finish up. Nice. <laughs> On to the figure eight. Our next team coming into uh, ring number three, 142, Labrador Retriever, Macy, being handled by Donna Brocht. In this point of the competition, it really is about managing ring nerves for the handler in order to keep the dog up, happy, motivated, and willing to work. And setting up for the directed retrieve exercise. A very nice retrieve by Macy. Score on previous team one four zero minus five and a half. And on to healing. Exercise finished on to the figure eight.
Nice job. Well done. Our next team coming into ring number three, team 143, a golden retriever. Dallas being handled by Bonnie Twitchell. The score on previous dog, 142 minus one and a half. Our next team in ring number three will be team 143, Golden Retriever, Kirby being handled by Karen Porter.
The score on previous team 143 minus four and a half. Here we see a lovely demonstration of teamwork during the healing exercise. Mm, well executed and now on to the figure eight. You can see the joy and love this team demonstrates. Each dog's a little different as to how much communication they need in the ring, how much of a re release and play the handler can do without getting the dog too much out of control and going into total play mode. <laughs> you can see the happiness and joy of this dog. And exercise finished. Nice job. <laughs> Our next team coming into ring number three, team 146, a golden retriever, Circus being handled by Annette Sizemore. And here is Circus performing the directed retrieve exercise. The score on previous team 144 minus one and a half. And now for the heel work.
Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 147, a Labrador Retriever. Zeal being handled by Petra Ford. And Petra and Zeal setting up for the directed retrieve exercise. Club number three. Very the nice. score for the previous team, 146 minus two and a half. Very nice there. Now setting up for the healing exercise. See the focus and concentration. Well done. Exercise finished. Very nice. Peter's working on keeping Zeal steady and focused. Very nice work. Exercise finished, job well done. Our next team coming into ring number three will be team 148, a golden retriever, Toby, being handled by Robin Clark. And Robin and Toby are setting up for the directed retrieve exercise. Glove number three. Mm -hmm. A very nice retrieve. And into heel position. Our Good score for the up. previous team, 147 minus one half. Good handling job there by Robin. Nice demonstration of heel work here.
Our next team coming into ring number three, Golden Retriever Trey being handled by Jill Rogers. Job well down. Now that team will be heading to ring four. The score on the previous team, 148 minus one. And now for the directed retrieve exercise. And onto the figure eight for this team. Our next team coming into ring number three, 153, a golden retriever. Flyer being handled by Cheryl Archer. Hello. Score on the previous team, 150 minus three and a half.
And now for the figure eight. And exercise finished. Nice job. Our next team coming into ring number three, team 154, a golden retriever. Brody being handled by Barb Mina. And on to the directed retrieve here. Nice pivot and pick up, bringing the glove back to its handler. And exercise finished. On to heel work. Score on the previous team, 153 minus two and a half. You could see the handler there taking a deep breath. Attempting to stay calm and focused. Exercise finished. Our next team in ring number three will be team 159, Golden Retriever Bubba, being handled by Gary Platt. Score on the previous team, 154 minus 4.
Our next team coming into ring number three, team 163, a golden retriever, Saucy, being handled by Bridget Carlson. Score on the previous team, 159 minus 1. Our next team coming into ring number three, team 164, a golden retriever. Keeper being handled by Sandy Burr. Score on the previous team, 163 minus three and a half.
Our next team in ring number three, 166, a golden retriever, Tara, being handled by Joanne Dalby. And directed retrieve. Off we go. Picking up the glove, bringing it back to its handler. Into the front position to deliver the glove. And then an exercise finished after the finish. Nice job onto the heel work. Score on the previous team, 164, minus two. Happy healing taking place there. Happy working dog. Nice job onto the figure eight. Our next team in ring number three, team 167, a golden retriever, Layla being handled by Peggy McConnell. Setting up for the directed retrieve exercise. Exercise finished, well done. Now on to the healing exercise. Score on the previous team, 166 minus one and a half.
Our next team in ring number three, Team 170, Golden Retriever, Bristol, being handled by Mary Leonard. Score on previous team, 167 minus zero. Keep in mind while you're watching some of the best of the best across the country in obedience competition, basic obedience training is one of the best gifts you can give yourself, your family, and your dog. Obedience training is often the prerequisite for or component of all other training. Every dog owner should consider some form of obedience training. It's the best way to establish good communication skills between you and your dog. It's fun teaching the various skills and a fantastic way to get exercise for both you and the dog as well. Our next team, <coughs> our next team in ring number three, 172, a golden retriever streak being handled by Bridget Carlson. Score on previous team, 170 minus 3. And now for the directed retrieve exercise. And Streak brings the glove back to its handler, Bridget. And into a nice finish exercise. You can see Streak still has plenty of enthusiasm going. And now for the healing exercise.
Mm, very nice, happy working dog. Nice job, well done. Our next team in ring number three, team 174, a Border Collie. Hattie being handled by Liz Hunter. The dogs you are watching working at this competition this morning are working at the highest level of competition available in AKC obedience. Many of the dogs here have earned the OCH title, which is the Obedience Trial Championship title, which is often referred to as the PhD for dogs. And it is the highest obedience honor a dog can receive. For the most part, these handlers are hobby trainers. They simply love the sport of obedience competition and put in the time and commitment required to perform at this level. This is the 24th year the AKC has held this most prestigious event. Score on the previous team, 172 minus zero. Our next team in ring number three, 180 Golden Retriever, Kayla, being handled by Jacqueline Spurlbaum.
will probably go to the score on previous team 174 minus 5. Our next team in ring number three, 182, Nova Scotia Duck Towing Retriever. Goldie being handled by Kathleen Keller. Lovely teamwork here with this team. And on to the figure eight. Excellent demonstration of heel work. Heel work is truly all about teamwork. You can see the willingness on this little dog to work with its handler. Good job, well done. The score on previous dog, 180 minus two. Directed retrieve exercise. Very nice retrieve there. Hmm. Nice handling by Jane with Ruby. And on to heel work. Score on the previous team, 182, minus one and a half. A pretty halt in heel position. You can see the concentration and focus here by both handler and dog. Nice, fast, into an about turn. And a halt with the dog sitting and onto the figure eight.
Lovely demonstration of teamwork there by Jane and Ruby. Good job. Well done. Our next team in ring number three, Team 191, Border Collie, Rev, being handled by Kim Berkeley. Score on previous dog number 186, a minus one. Our next team coming into ring number three, 194, Border Collie, Edith being handled by Jennifer Edwards. Correction, Jennifer Evans. Score on a previous dog, 191, minus four and a half.
Our next team in ring number three, 198, Border Collie Rev being handled by Betsky, Betsy Scapicchio. Score on the previous dog, 194 minus 3. Excellent focus there. Nice job, well done. And that concludes ring number three. As the rings wrap up here, which several of them are, we'll be going into tabulation mode and getting ready for our award ceremony. So we'll be back when we're ready to do awards. Obedience gives you a lot of self-confidence, uh, whether you're young or old or big or small, and it's an accomplishment you get to a friendship and a bond you get with your dog. I love the training conversation. I think it's a very intimate conversation, doing obedience with your dog. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this for 35 years, and it's just, it's nice to see the competition, old friends, and 
Yeah, no, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. I, I mean, this, this dog thinks I walk on water. He really does. So I go in the ring, nothing bothers him. It, his, his mind is 100% on me. That's what you gotta have. And when we go to school, he gets to see his friends. He's got a girlfriend, Karma, that he just adores. And they just they just enjoy playing and doing things together. And, and yeah, I mean, when we get to school, he's, he's a happy camper. He enjoys it. They get cookies, my dogs, so that's why they like it. <laughs> Piper is my first high-rise dog, and she is just an awesome dog. She gives me 120% every time, so I can't complain. It's been a really wonderful honor to be able to come and do this. Um, I've only ever done it once before, and it was several years ago. So this was this was kind of exciting to be able to have a chance to bring him here. So I mean, I'm very excited to be here, and I'm proud to be here with him because he is, out of the 2,000 dogs here, he is the only male. Slow. Look up a local obedience club, go in for beginner classes, puppy classes, get with your dog, learn that your dog is willing to do anything you want to, and get with a good trainer and just train and have a great time with your dog. Remember, it's all about fun. There's, th there's three P's in training, praise, practice, and patience. <laughs> so you have to have all that, and, and it's not hard to have, because the dogs, you can see little light bulbs go off, and it's just so rewarding to watch that light bulb go off when that dog does what you're asking them to do. If you have a joy of working with your dog and are willing to take the time to work with them, it's a great sport. It's a good time with your dog. You, get, you, know, you just get like a, a build a sense of a team, the two of you working together, that I've just really enjoyed it. I've done it for 30 years.
Okay. We are ready. Coming to you live from Wilmington, Ohio, we are ready to present our top 20 awards for the 2018 AKC National Obedience Championship. These are the teams that have earned the privilege to move on to this afternoon's final round to determine the National Obedience Final Top 10. From this morning's 17 exercises performed in the eight rings, the total points available were 530 points. With a score of 524 points is Border Collie 206, Rain with Victory Hewlett. Congratulations. With 522 points is Golden Retriever, 137 Beacon, with Kathy Rezinowicz Platt. Congratulations. With 521 points is Border Collie 207 Maverick with Mitzi Teniglia. Congratulations. With 520 and a half points is Golden Retriever, 172 streak with Bridget Carlson. Congratulations. With 520 and a half points is Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, 182 Goldie. <laughs> Kathleen Keller. Congratulations. With 520 points is Labrador Retriever, 106, Hart with Linda Brennan. Congratulations. With 520 points is Golden Retriever, 166, Tara with Joanne Dalby. Congratulations. With 520 points is Shetland Sheepdog, 217 Deacon with Charlie Chamara.
Congratulations. With 519 points is Golden Retriever, 159, Bubba, with Gary Platt. Congratulations. Five hundred and eighteen points is Golden Retriever. One four eight. Toby with Robin Clark. Congratulations. With 517 points is All American Dog 129 Lola with Katherine Harvey. Congratulations. Five hundred and seventeen points is Pomeranian two four one Eddie with Peggy McGarth. Congratulations. Five hundred and sixteen and a half points is Border Collie 198 Rev with Betsy Scapiccio. Congratulations. With 515 and a half points is Labrador Retriever 186 Ruby with Jane Jackson. Congratulations. Five hundred and fifteen points is Golden Retriever one four six Circus with Annette Sizemore. Congratulations. Five hundred and fourteen points is Golden Retriever, one three eight. Athena with Francine Anderson. Congratulations. With 513 and a half points is Border Collie 205 Smarty with Beth Ann Lane.
with 513 points is Golden Retriever, 180. Kayla with Jacqueline Sprolbaum. Congratulations. With 512 and a half points is Golden Retriever. 144. Kirby with Karen Porter. Congratulations. With 512 and a half points is Papillon 213 Trip with Kathy Parker. Congratulations. She is our 20th dog that gets to move on to this afternoon's competition. Congratulations to all of our exhibitors this morning. It was a quick round of work and you all did a fabulous job. This afternoon's judging will begin at one o'clock. Lunch.